Hi there, my name is Marcel and in this video I want to discuss all the different buy orders for crypto on Binance and the FTX crypto exchange because I'm using both platforms. So after this video you know which type order is best for you to buy your crypto. And in the description there are timestamps and there are links for videos about how to enter an order onto the FTX crypto exchange. To explain the order types, I created a theoretical crypto XYZ, which has a certain price action. Latest price is $12, ask price is 12.1, and that's the price for which people want to sell. And the bid price is 11.9, and that's the price for which people want to buy. And if you want to know more about the ask and the bid price and how the order book works, there's a link in the description. And I will start with the market buy order. You want to use the market buy order when you want to buy instantly. And this is because the market buy order will be executed at the ask price at the moment you click buy. And because the ask price is constantly changing, you don't know for which price you're going to buy exactly, but you're 100% certain that your order will be executed. And in this example, it would be $12.1 if your order is not too big and the liquidity is good. And you see a purple line because it's an order entry, because you open a position, you buy a position. And I will list different actions here and I hope it helps to understand the different order types. The next order is the limit buy order. And you want to use the limit buy order when in the long run you think it will go up, but on the short term you expect the pullback. So let's say you think XYZ will pull back to $11 before it will continue upwards then you could place a limit buy at $11. And note that the limit buy has to be below the current price and to be more accurate, the bid price. And this order gives you control over the price you will pay. However, your order may never be executed when the price doesn't go down to $11. Although you may sometimes miss a trade, I still prefer the limit buy over the market buy. And this has to do with the risk reward ratio and FOMO fear of missing out because my experience is that jumping in is often not the best thing to do and this has to do with emotion and that emotion will be strongest near the peak and let's say you wanted to buy xyz when it was going up from eight dollars to sixteen dollars and of course you were less interested here because here it was really going up and maybe you would think when it pulls back a little i will buy and then it never pulls back and then when it goes up and up, you will get the fear of missing out and then you would just jump in and you would use the market buy order to jump in on emotion. That happened to me more than once, so I have the rule that I'm not allowed to use a market order. Although I still sometimes do, but you get my point. And secondly, it really influences your risk reward ratio. So let's say you wanted to place your stop at $8 and you take profit at 17 and in this example, the risk reward ratio is 1.33 against 2.0. And that's a significant difference. And when your risk reward ratio is higher, let's say with the limit buy, you are allowed to miss a percentage of your trades. But still, very often the price will just go lower to fill your order. This is not financial advice, just for educational purpose only. But the takeaway is this. The entry price is very important because it influences your risk reward ratio and it could be way more extreme than this example. And another way to buy at a fixed price are the stop orders. And I will start with the stop market and stop limit order. With the normal limit buy order, you could place an order below the current price. And with those two stop orders, you could place a trigger buy above the current price. So you can use the stop orders to buy when the price reaches a certain price level. Let's say when the price of XYZ reaches $16.1. The stop market order has a dotted purple line, which means it's a trigger entry. And this means that when you're triggered, you will buy at market. So you will buy for the ask price at the moment you're triggered. And with the stop limit buy order, your trigger and entry order are separated. And after you're triggered, your entry order will be activated and you can place it anywhere you want. So you could place your entry order above and below your trigger. So maybe you would like to see a recovery first to $15 before you would like to buy at 13. So the stop limit buy order gives a lot of possibilities. Another advantage of the stop limit order is that you have control over your entry price. So let's say XYZ was a stock. 
which opens at Monday morning with the gap upwards at $25. With your stop market order, your trigger will get run and you will buy for the ask price at the moment the market opens, which would be around $25. And with the stop limit order, you have your entry level set, so your order will not be executed or the price would have to come down to like 16.2. And for crypto, this could be useful in situations with low liquidity. So when the price moves up very, very fast, and if you use a stock market order, you could buy way higher than you anticipated. FTX and Binance both have the market, the limit, and the stop limit buy order, but Binance doesn't have the stop market order. But this is not a problem because you could create one if you place your entry way above your trigger with the stop limit buy order. But the next stop order, the trailing stop buy order, is not available on Binance. So what is the trailing stop buy order? Well, this order follows the market price. And to explain this, I created some extra price action in black. And just imagine you're at this uh, pink arrow at $10 and you would like to buy XYZ when the price goes up $3. Then you could use the trailing stop buy order and this order places a trigger entry at $13 because it's $3 above 10. But if the price of XYZ will go down in the meanwhile, your trigger entry will also go down because it wants to maintain the $3 difference. And if the price then goes up $3, you get triggered in. And it's a dotted purple line, so it's a trigger entry. So you will buy at the ask price at the moment you get triggered in. And I'm hoping you're getting the system I'm using. And I hope it helps you to understand it. And before I was making those videos, I didn't even know what the next two order types were. But now I might use them. The take profit buy orders. And they're only available on the FTX crypto exchange. And with this order type, you can place a trigger buy order below the current price. And the take profit order has a trigger entry. So you will buy for the ask price at the moment you get triggered, just like the trailing stop order and the stop market order. And with the take profit limit order, the trigger and your entry are separated. And here you can place your entry above and below your trigger. And then I can hear you thinking, why are you not using the limit buy order? because you get the same result and that's true but with the take profit orders your order will not show up in the order book and if you would like to buy big positions it could be very useful because if a big buyer shows up in the order book it might drive up the price and that's not what you want and now we arrive in the most interesting part the advanced orders the advanced order is one of the reasons why i started using the ftx crypto exchange and i made a video with all the reasons why i'm using ftx so if you're not using FTX yet, there's a discount link in the description for a lifetime 5% discount on your trading fees. And you can check out the platform with no registration, only an email address and strong password. And more registration is needed when you start trading with actual money. But make sure you use a discount link when signing up. With the advanced orders, you combine three orders. Your entry in purple, your stop loss in the dotted red line, and you take profit in the dotted green line. So it's a combination of one buy order in blue and two sell orders in orange. And you have the choice between a market buy and a limit buy. And with the market buy, you would buy for the ask price at 12.1. And with the limit buy, you buy below the current price, so let's say $11. And if your limit buy would be executed while you're sleeping at night, it would be no problem because your stop loss and your take profit order are in place. So the ideal set and forget trading. But with a third option, it would be 100% ideal. And the third option I would like to have is that I can place a trigger buy order above the current price. And I don't think I need to explain where you could use this order type. And then you would have three options. At market, below the current price, or above the current price. If you would also like to have the third option to place a trigger buy above the current price, I wrote a comment down below with the question, and when the comment gets 100 likes, it will write FTX a message. Maybe it works. Binance doesn't have the advanced orders like FTX does, but they do have something similar. The OCO order. One cancels the other. So I added the OCO order from Binance. FTX also has this option and it's slightly different. 
I made a video about the OCO order from FTX, link is in the description, and there are also links for every specific order type. With the OCO order from Binance, you place two orders at the same time, a limit cell and a stop limit cell. And if one of the two orders is executed, the other one will be cancelled. So that's why it's called one cancels the other. And you can use this order type to place a stop loss and a take profit order. But note that your buy order is separate, so you have to place orders twice. And when your buy order would be executed at night, there will be a while where you don't have a stop loss in place. So now you understand why I really like the advanced option from the FCS crypto exchange, because there you will always have your stop loss in place. And I want to mention one more thing about the OCO order from Binance, or actually the stop limit sell order. And this is because the trigger and your uh, limit sell are separated. And if you place your limit sell too close to your trigger and the market goes down fast, there is a probability your order will not get filled. And this happened to me once with Bitcoin and I think I learned a lesson I want to pass it on to you. Just make sure there is enough distance between your limit sell and your trigger. And I made an overview for all the different order types and the F stands for FTX and the B stands for Binance. And I really hope this system helps you to understand it. And I will do all the sell orders in the same system. And you can already see that I'm using more colors. I'm using green if the order results in a profit. And I'm using red if the order results in a loss. And I hope you got something out of this video. A like is appreciated. And if you don't understand something, I would like to know where you get lost. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.